Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Commander Gaius. Commander Gaius is a horseback mounted fight, however it's easier to do this without using Torrent. And the reason I say that is because while you're using Torrent, you constantly have to be jumping over the boss and running away from it, and you don't really get many opportunities for heavy sustained damage on the boss. So doing this on foot actually makes it easier, at least in my opinion. If you prefer mounted combat, go for it, but I really recommend doing this on foot. The build itself that I'm using really doesn't matter that much. I'm using a Sacred Yuji Katana plus 25. That's really just for bleed. I'm not trying to get any sort of real elemental damage on the boss. He's not really weak to anything, at least that I can tell, but any sort of bonus damage will help. Uh, for my flask, I am using an Opaline Hard Tier and a Crimson Crystal Tier. I never actually use it in this fight, though, so bring whatever works for you. Um, but the fight itself is a fairly standard 1v1. However, it's more like a 2v1 because of the boar. Right at the start, the boss will always start with this big charge move. If you don't feel confident uh, with your dodge timing and he seems to be getting very close, just keep blocking if you're using a shield, and he should be okay. It doesn't deal any extra damage as long as you have a 100% physical block rating shield. You'll be able to block that damage, no problem. The boss does use gravity magic later on in the fight, uh, so you do have to be very careful of that. Um, but again, not too much to worry about. All the gravity attacks are like really, really telegraphed, such as that one. So you really don't have too much to worry about with the gravity magic. For the majority of this fight, the boss is going to be running away from you and then charging into you. He also has these really, really long combos. He also has a donkey kick. So whenever you are behind the boss, or a boar kick, I should say, Whenever you're behind the boss, you want to be very careful. You don't want to do more than a couple of hits really quickly. Otherwise, that donkey kick is coming. This combo is really long. Whenever the board digs its head into the ground, it's going to flip it back up, and then Gaius himself is going to slam his spear down. So you want to be very careful. But once that combo ends, you can get a couple of good hits on him. So you saw there I blocked the charge, and I'm also doing my best to pay very close attention to my stamina. And there's a mechanic in Souls games that doesn't get talked about very often, but your stamina recovers more quickly when you are not holding up your shield. Holding your shield counts as an action, so your stamina is going to recover very slowly. So if you ever block a big hit from the boss and your stamina gets dropped like 75%, as long as the boss is somewhat far away from you, just let go of your shield and just kind of stand there for a second and your stamina will recover very quickly. So that's helpful for pretty much any boss, but it really comes in handy with this guy because he deals so much stamina damage whenever you're blocking him. All right, so this is the phase two transition. Happens at about 60% HP. The boss will run away, do this big flashy swirl in the air, but in reality, it's not that serious. You can just hard block it, and he's not really going to deal that much damage to you. You can roll into him and then get very close and deal some damage if you can get the timing right. I was only able to do that one or two times. Um, I don't even think I did it in this attempt successfully, but he can redo that move, that sort of phase transition move, if you're uh, if the fight goes on long enough, he will just start using it as a normal ability. So his uh, gravity spear lunge attack just gets a bit flashier, does a bit more extra damage, nothing to be too concerned about. This move right here where he sort of like flies and hovers and charges at you, kind of similar to Radon almost, uh, the story goes that he was trained by the same guy as Radon, or the same person as Radon, so that's why he uses similar attacks. Um, for that move, again, it's not that serious. He just kind of slams in front of you and then just moves on. Like, it's, it, gravity magic doesn't really deal a ton of damage in this fight, so as long as you have a decent blocked shield, I'm using the brass shield plus 25, you should be able to deal, or, uh, deal with most of the attacks just by blocking them. Um, but again, you can roll out of the way of them. The timing is just a little weird because he sort of slams and then there's an explosion. So the timing is really tight on it. So again, I'm just waiting for the boss to kind of come to me. I'm really not doing much. Um, literally just like circling around the boss. He's using the field. I'm really not. My only advice is to try to stay away from the walls, especially in phase two. I don't go too far out into the field. I never mount in this fight but there is a chance that he can end up pushing me into a wall. So if that happens, I will mount up and I will just run into the center and try to reset the fight. The problem with doing that though is that then he will use those big charge attacks and if you can't get off Torrent fast enough, you're probably gonna get very close to death. So just stay away from the walls and you should be okay. But that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. 
If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to join my community discord. The link for that is in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.